Body cam video captured the 15-year-old trying to explain what happened to police after he says he smoked a vape. And I went outside and thought it was a dream. In reality, the teen punched his teacher several times. Prosecutors say she spent 25 days in the hospital and has not fully recovered. She suffered a brain bleed where her skull cap did have to be removed to relieve the pressure. Currently, she is living with family. She cannot be on her own. She's still learning how to walk, how to talk, things that she could do before, obviously, easily. Today, the prosecution withdrew their request to try the teen as an adult. In exchange, the teen made a plea of admission to felonious assault in juvenile court. That's the equivalent of pleading guilty. Attorney Clyde Bennett represented the teen. I think the withdrawal of the transfer to adult court will make certain that he's treated fairly, which is what I really wanted to accomplish. He'll be tried as a juvenile. While the prosecution made this clear. The state is reserving the right, reserving the jurisdiction that if the, this Woolridge were to pass from her injuries, we reserve the right to prosecute for murder. And if that murder charge were ever filed, that case could be heard in adult court. Despite today's agreement, the teen will stay in custody until sentencing in May. The harshest punishment would keep him locked up until his 21st birthday. Sure, you can stop watching, but let's be honest, you want to know more. Tap the links or even better, click subscribe to stay in the know.